right, Pulau Katam. Pulau Katam. How's my pronunciation? Pulau Katam. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> there you Which have it. Which means? Crab yeah. Island. Island. Knew it. Okay. So it's probably almost 12 o'clock already, even though we left our apartment this like mining about 9 a.m. Yeah. We got on the monorail. We headed to KL Central. We had a little difficulty topping up our touch and go cards, but we figured it out. We hopped on the KTM line. Oh, mm -hmm. first experience on the KTM line. That's true. Give a review, Ivana. What do you say? Well, it's nice. It's clean, although it's a bit slow. Clean. All the seats are facing forward, so it's not a subway feel. It's more like a long distance train right. feel. We bumped into veggies on tour on the train, oh, yeah. which was very exciting. <laughs> Pat and Julie, um, they're not coming to Crab Island just yet. So maybe later on in the vlog, we'll bump into them again. They got off uh, three or four stops ahead of us. Mm -hmm. We rode the KTM to the end of the line. We got out of the KTM, we crossed the street, got to the ferry. We yeah. actually sprinted down the dock of the ferry as the people working there said, hurry up, hurry up, you can make it, you can make it. We ran like crazy people. We jumped on the ferry as it was like moving away, almost like James Bond. <laughs> I think we made it on the ferry. The ferry took like 40 minutes to get to the island. 40 minutes, pretty leisurely, past some mangroves, past some houses on stilts. And here we are at Pulau Katam. Okay, oh, one more thing I want to introduce to our, uh, to our vlogs, Ivana. It's called Word of the Day. Word of, word of the day. day, Malaysian word of the day, Malay what word. It? What is it? The word is Pumikutya. Oh, what? Do you know the word? Perikutnya. Ah. Do you know oh, what it means? Don't oh, tell no. me yet. I think I know. You heard? What did you hear? I heard on the subway. Uh, Station Perikutnya. KL Central. Station Perikutnya. <laughs> Bukit Pintang. So word of the day, Perikutnya means I would say next. Yeah. There you I have think it. So. Word of the day, Perikutnya. Okay. Um, tons of sailors here, very interesting. Not sure what's happening. Yeah, look at the houses. Houses on stilts. on stilts. Lots to explore here on Crab Island. So, let's go check it out, no? Yeah. Alright, let's, let's go. Let's go walk around, look at the sign. This says Katam. This must say Pulau. <laughs> I think it's just a squiggle. I think it's an interpretive artistic thing. Oh my gosh, everywhere, Ivana. Yeah. Hundreds everywhere. and hundreds of crabs. Everywhere you look. I guess these are baby ones. Not yet. Oh, these two are having a sword fight. Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh, these, these are the crabs that have one big hand. Look over here, they have yeah. one, one big hand and one small hand. Or a claw, whatever you call it. <laughs> there you have it. We've been here for 15 seconds and we've already found the crabs. The name is fitting. So you've got crabs on the right and motorcycle rental on the left. Because my understanding is cars are not allowed. No cars allowed. No cars allowed. Also, just not feasible. I mean, look how wide the road is. So it's not practical, but also not allowed. Yeah. All right, let's go explore. Yay. It's funny how once you get to an island, you get this color scheme of mm -hmm. the bright blues, the bright yellows, yeah, you know, because... if you were in if you were in KL and you painted your house this color, you'd be the guy with the funky house. <laughs> That's true. And in islands, every country we've been to, islands always have the bright blue, teal, aqua, bright yellow, you know what I mean? That's true. That's the island uh, palette. Island, island palette. It seems like the uh, vibe is like chill here. It is, isn't it? There's there's something about islands. It's just relaxing, funky colors, yeah. take it easy. This is like a fisherman village. Fisherman village. 8,000 people live here, mostly Chinese, Malaysians. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's not yeah. like a, it's not like an island in terms of beaches. Yeah, it's an island right. in terms of fisherman village, funky, cool hangout spot. So what I heard is, I think during the World War II, the Chinese people from the mainland comes to this island and start to inhabit it. Yeah. Ooh, because of the war? Yes, because of the war. They were fleeing from danger? Yes. So it's interesting. It's like the village life, floating village life, the more traditional side of Malaysia. It's funny it's how one ferry ride that's 40 minutes long makes you feel totally different. It's yeah. just so not KL. It's just totally relaxing that's island true. life. It's so different than KL. You don't feel the hustle and bustle. Definitely not. You know? Definitely not hustle Just and bustle. Just so quiet. All these little cafes with fish on the wall. 
right. bright colors. Everywhere you look, bright colors. And they're known for their seafood. Of course. Crab. I think we'll have crab for lunch. Of course, we have to. You're in the, in the crab island. There you right? go. All right, let's keep looking around. If you're new to our channel, we're Steve and Ivana. We're a couple from Canada traveling all around the world. And we're traveling around Malaysia right now. So subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more adventures and lots of food. Boom. Ramley Burger, even on the small islands. It's closed. Maybe they'll be open at night. It probably closed because it's sold out. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found the temple section. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, so this to me, when I see those hands up there, I think Buddhist temple, and I think it's got some turtles in the bottom. Very exciting. Uh, uh, probably Taoism, not Buddhism. Yeah, not too sure. But anyway, there are lots. I heard that there are lots of temples in this island because uh, the sea is dangerous, and of course, the, all the fishermen yes. used to pray before they yes. go. Yes, dangerous to work. jobs always have the yeah. uh, belief systems attached That's to them. That's right. This must be the uh, seafood shrine. <laughs> Chess club. What? I think chatur means chess. Chess club, really? Oh, Ivana, our day is set. Let's go play chess, Ivana. This is like a dream come true. Dun, 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 dun. Is this chess club? Ah, uh, so close. So well, this is, I think this is like almost a Japanese game called shogi or something. Dang. Thought it was chess club. Chinese chess. Chinese chess, or Japanese, I think, actually. Damn. So peaceful, right? So quiet here, man. Mm -hmm. Let's be clear, on Main Street over there, there's like legitimate traffic. That's true. Not cars, but like scooters and motorcycles, it's kind of crowded. Once you get off Main Street, it's like so quiet. Honestly, living here, if I was Malaysian, this would be the play. <laughs> you're 40 minutes, no, you're not 40 minutes from KL. You're 40 minutes from Main Street, and then like two hours and a half from KL. Right. I bet you a house here is way cheaper than KL, obviously. I think so. And it's freaking relaxing. It's a little bit garbagey. Yeah. It's a little bit, you know what I mean? Not perfect. But there are some really nice houses here. That's true. I would live here. Okay. Nice, relaxing place. It's amazing how just one ferry ride across and it's like, it's like island feeling. Hits That's you so true. hard. Ah, oh, relaxing. <laughs> uh oh. That nice sucks. That sucks. It's, uh,. It's getting more and more smelly the further we go down. Mm -hmm. Kind of sucks. Could have brought sunglasses too. Very bright. <laughs> if there was no garbage here, this place would be like paradise on earth. Yeah. The garbage is such a deterrent for me. I wonder how long it would take if you went beneath your stilts and tried to clean up all your garbage. Mm -hmm. If each family of each household clean mm. their own spot. I think it would take forever. It's all mud and everything. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm thinking? It's probably impossible. It's probably true that when the water level rises, the ocean brings it all in and you can't clean it. That's right. Somebody so would have tried this already. So garbage is from the ocean, it's not from the, the community. people. Because uh, this, if this was like perfectly clean, this would be the best place you could ever live. That's You're true. like a couple hours from downtown, you can go there and watch all your concerts or whatever. And you've got this small town feel, watch the ocean come in, watch the boats go by. Mm -hmm. You would know all your neighbors, which is like the big difference from the city. The city, you're like, don't talk to anybody, like incognito mode all the time. Over yeah. here, you like, you know everybody, small town community. That's true. And perfectly I'm, clean, mother nature, the mangroves just over there. I noticed mm. it's mostly the older people that lives here. I think it's because the younger generations has moved away and live in the city. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. I think younger people prefer the city. I certainly don't though, man. Yeah. I'm Unless ready to live here. Continuing the family business in the island mm. or become a fisherman. Some of the houses are really nice and it's like, oh, this would be the best place to live. Then you look under the bottom of the stilts and it's just like a big bunch of garbage yeah. and you're like, oh, That's sad. no. It is such a Still nice, a great place. quiet place. It's very cute. Very <laughs> cute. Every house has a shrine out front, I noticed. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. 
Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep walking around. We're way in the back 40s now. There's no tourists around here. We're just with the locals yeah. now. Yeah, and it's mostly predominantly Chinese community that lives in this island. Mm. True fact. Some of these houses are nice, man. No? Mm -hmm. Some of them are like fully renovated, all new tiles. Yeah. The pillars are all intricate and ornate. It's and then sometimes you see like four or five doors down from that. There'll it's be a guy's a house, this is a shack and a bit of a disaster. <laughs> but it just feels like community here, you know? These small communities, it feels friendly. Yeah, All right, now we're back in the uh, busy part. Yeah. Traffic. Lots of businesses around. Lots of businesses, yes. The economic powerhouse of the island. Yeah, stores, shops. Yeah, shops. Restaurants. Restaurants. Electronics shops. No way. Oh yeah. Very interesting. Man, these small little islands make me feel right at home. You know, I know I'm a tourist, but in a different city, you can be scared. In a different little island, you feel like right at home. You know? I think I'm the only white guy on the whole island today. <laughs> yeah, by the way, the <laughs> omelet, clams, and oyster is famous here. Ooh, dun 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 dun. Ron, are you hungry? Let's have some crabs right here. Alrighty, Vana. What's the damage? Ooh, I'm it's sure it's expensive, guys. I know. What is it? So we ordered the chili crab. Chili crab. It's uh, 80 ringgit. 18. 80. 80. 80 ringgits. 80 for crabs. But we so let me guess. We're gonna share. Of course. Of course. I'm not gonna spend 80 ringgits by myself. It's kind of expensive, but we're well. Fresh crab. Yeah, fresh crab. We're on the crab island, so I figured we have to. We have to do it. Yeah, okay. they also have like different menus, different types of uh, crabs. Salted sure. egg, chili, what else? Sweet and sour, steamed crab, uh, curry crab. So what made you choose chili crab? She recommended it. You asked what she wants. Yeah. That's what I would do too. Good idea. <laughs> I was just washing my hands, come out, and Yvonne says, I already ordered. I said, okay. Yeah. That's what we get. Mm. Wow. That's very good. I think it's enough for two people, no? Of course. Yeah. Maybe even three. Mmm, I can smell the curry leaves. Curry? You guys, yeah, curry leaves. Curry and chili chicken. Chili. I mean, uh, crab. Yeah. Mmm, that's the good. So now, do you know how to eat a crab? I have no idea how to eat crab. <laughs> okay, boom, ready. What are, you, what are you drinking? Tea. Chrysanthemum tea. Hey. Cool. Alright, let's eat. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know how to break this, man. I thought it was Dude, I never had this in my life. Look at this. Give me a tool. When I had crab, it was just crab's legs. It wasn't claws. Ooh, still hot. Oh, how did you do that? <laughs> wow, I really changed, you know? It's actually good. Mm. It tastes, there's a, there's a distinct fish flavor to it, which normally is like gross for me. I cannot do the fish flavor. But it's enough, I can handle it. It's way better than sardines. Remember roti sardine? Yeah. That was like top level. That was like, as most I could handle fish flavor. This is totally edible. I can actually eat this and enjoy it. Isn't there like a tool to break? Isn't there like a piece of equipment? Anyway. There should be, but they break it for us already. Oh, it's already broken. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh, good luck. Careful. <laughs> I like crabs, but this is what I don't like about it. You gotta work for it. You gotta work for it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Get this. And then the idea is eat it with a fork or no? Eat it with your hand? Yeah. Or a fork, whatever you want. It's amazing. I can eat this and enjoy it. Look at this. Dip it in sauce. Mmm. Oh. It's amazing, I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> wow, if my parents could see me now. I had crabs once before, it was only crabs legs, none of this stuff, just crabs legs. And it was like, uh, just boiled. I don't remember much, I remember I was young, my friend's house, and I remember 
I'm just filling up on salad and rice. <laughs> it's like couldn't eat a crab legs. Very soft. So this is fresh crab. Yeah. Locally caught. I think so. Wow. Must be. It's Crab Island. It's Crab Island. Yeah, they're, if they're flying in crab to Crab Island, I'd be like, come on, guys. <laughs> Okay, there you have it. So, mm. Ivana, based on your crab experience, is this worth 80 ringgit? Yes. Really? I think in Canada, crabs are like super expensive. Well, in Toronto. in Toronto. If you're on the East Coast, crabs are like as fresh as this. Right. So, it might be cheaper out there. But for us, we're like a thousand kilometers from the nearest crab source. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And it's a big portion. It's a big portion. You can have this for two people. In Canada, maybe one person. But the food is hidden inside the, like, you're right, you gotta work for it. How do I do it? So first, here, <laughs> there you go. The flavor is good, but the work required is not, is no joke, man. Oh, yeah, you, so can move, you can move its claws. Yeah, of course. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the meat is so soft. Flavorful. Well, that's not even meat, that's tendon. I got tendon. Whoa, this is a whole new eating experience for me. Um, interesting. The flavor is good, but I'm sure I'm doing it the wrong way. What the heck, man? Oh. <laughs> How did I do it the first time? I did, you did it, right. it so good the first time. <laughs> I've been struggling. I get like one calorie every 10 minutes. I'm burning more calories trying to get into it than I'm getting out of it. Mm. Another all that? I'm eating shell. There's still meat in there, right? I gotta get that part still. I haven't worked on that yet. Give me a. For what? For the, for the, to get it out? Yeah. My hands are just covered in stuff. Oh man, I really think I'm gonna waste a bunch of meat today. Don't waste it. I don't just know take how your time, man. Take your time. Okay, so no rush. I wonder if the store owner sees us eating like this. So he loves it. So, yeah, he probably will. The locals are like, look at this white guy. He never saw a crab in his life. He got, he got the camera set up. <laughs> you can use this to dig in there. Oh, that's smart. You're using the crab's own claw against him. Yeah. Wow. Humans, eh? So, what's this party, Vaughn? These are feet? The, the body. Oh, they're like, they're like, like more arms that don't, they don't develop properly. No, I think they cut out the... What is a crab? A crab is a gigantic bug, isn't it? It's a water bug. It's like an insect, isn't it? Huge insect. Is it an insect? No, it's not an insect, it's actually. Like By definition, insect. it's not. But I'm saying the, the build of it looks like an insect. Yeah. Gigantic yeah. bug. It looks like it's a, a It's a... It's a... By definition, to be a crustacean. But it looks like a gigantic spider or something. The meat is good, though. Baby, you were wasting all this meat. You gotta help me out. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I like, crap. This is what I get out every time. This is how much meat I get. This is the most expensive meal we had in KL. Mm -hmm. In Malaysia, I should say, not KL, in Malaysia. So, let's give a review of the island, babe. Um, in terms of day trips from KL, it's actually quite fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was interesting to see because it's so different. So different. I mean, you wouldn't see that in the city. The scenery in the city. Yes. You won't find it there. Compare it to Cameron Highlands. What you said was your favorite part of Malaysia. Oh, it's different too. Different. Which one do you prefer? Like village life. Um, in terms of scenery, Cameron Highland is prettier. Mm. But in terms of wanting to see like the quiet, quaint village, then come here. Mm. Which one do you prefer? Cameron Highlands has a lot more to do. So Cameron Highlands. Yeah. Cameron has a lot further away though too. I can see That's the justification true. of coming here. It's fun. Yeah. Plus, if you love crab, if you're like a seafood aficionado, oh, yeah. if you like seafood, this is your place to be. They have other seafood items like fish, um, oyster, oyster, clam, clam. But we only ordered the uh, the, uh, crab. the, uh, the namesake of the island. Okay, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. We got about 
By the looks of it, three more hours of eating here. <laughs> I'm getting one morsel every hour here. But thanks for watching, everybody. Would recommend this place. I had a good time today. I had fun wandering through. Mm -hmm. I good. So there you have it. Below us, our most recent upload. You can see what country we're in, what uh, what crab we're trying to eat. Yum, 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 yum. And on the left, some of our other videos. Please subscribe to our channel to keep up with our travels. And see you in the next one. Bye.